Right guys, welcome now to a round review of the one day event at Denton Golf Club today, PJ Lancashire event, and boy, boy oh boy oh boy, boy oh boy. Yeah, it wasn't great. I uh, shot a 79 today, which was 8 over at Denton, and I just played... Today was one of those rounds that I really hoped will not have happened in June. It was just bad. I just struck the ball very, very poorly. I think what you should always do is when you have a bad round is try and go through the stats, try and look for the reasons why, the positives and the negatives. So that's what we're going to do. And then just talk a little bit more about really how I was feeling before the round and what went on during the round because, yeah, not, not great signs, to be honest. So first things first, the course at Denton, nice track actually, not one which really suited my eye. I played a practice round there last week, really, really tight, a little bit tricky in places, well, a lot tricky in places, but the greens were rolling fantastically well. They were some of the best greens that I've played on this year, they were so, so pure. They were really a pleasure to get to. Um, it's just that I was taking too many shots to get to them. And I think these stats really just, just showed up. So my driving accuracy today only hit 35% of fairways, missed 35% to the left, and then missed 28% to the right. So I was literally all over the place with my tee shots. And then when I get to my greens in reg, I only hit 38% of greens in reg as well, or 38.9, so pretty much 40% of my greens in regulation. Um, so that type of ball striking off the tee and then off the fairway, and to be honest, it wasn't often off the fairway, was pretty poor today. The bad shot, I was, I was slicing my driver. I was slicing it. Slicing it. And I'm not talking about just a little movement off. I was hitting slices. And in, a, in one particular occasion on the 16th, that put me into a hell of a lot of trouble and I ended up on that hole with a 7, which I'll go through in a moment. Uh, but my putting overall was good, so I had 26 putts during the round, which was really, really good. Um, my scrambling was okay today, and I was trying out some new clubs and I was trying out a new ball. So I was trying out the TP5X. Uh, I have been using the normal TP5, and I think I will probably go back to the TP5. The TP5X today was good but it really didn't offer me the same amount of control around the green that the TP5 did. And I didn't see a massive amount of improvement in the distance I was hitting it either. So I would say that it's slightly better in the wind. It seems to hold, hold its line quite well, but I think the TP5 is going to be the ball I use from now on. I It just wasn't quite as good in my opinion. And if I just talk you through quickly about what went on at the start of this round um, and then a little bit about what my mindset was like and what's been happening in the last few days leading up to this. Um, I part the first par five, I hit a tee shot left and then it a good shot out of the trees actually. I managed to get it up to the right hand side of the green. I just finished up directly behind the tree. It was a little bit unlucky if I'm being honest. Managed to just chip to the side of the green because I had to come out sideways and then got a decent up and down. Now the second hole is a par three and there was quite a strong crosswind but the flag was actually quite still. So I hit my shot just to the left hand side of the flag and it just went right. And I mean it, it, it was a good shot, it wasn't a slice, it wasn't a push, it was just straight at the flag. Went up into there and just got a massive smash off to the right hand side. And it actually ended up out of bounds. Now, I cannot remember the last time I hit a shot out of bounds on a par three. And in retrospect, it is actually quite tight to that green if it's going to go right. And it just, yeah, it confused the hell out of me because I wasn't overly disappointed with the strike. I wasn't overly disappointed with the shot. I just didn't judge it correctly. Um, then managed to get up and down for a par with my second ball. So I ended up with a five. Came out with a good birdie on the next, just a three wood and then a flick on with a wedge bogeyed the next after hitting an okay tee shot and almost going out of bounds again must have just kicked off a tree tough hole the fourth though and then I had a couple of steady pars and then uh, I had a bad bogey on a par four where I missed the fairway by a long way a heely slice but then the next this par three so the eighth hole at Denton is a par three it's down the hill it's about 200 yards and it was into the wind, but it was also a crosswind as well. So probably purely not into the wind, although I thought it was uh, to begin with. And Tom, one of my playing partners today, hit an eye in and actually went over the back. Now, rather than go back to my bag and change my club, which I knew then was probably the wrong play, I tried to play the shot anyway and hit just this horrible, healy, thinny shot 
off to the right of the green and end up in a water hazard. Didn't manage to get up and down with my next ball. Actually missed the green with my next ball. A little bit unluckily to be fair. I thought I had a decent shot. Just went off the back. Chipped on and managed to hold a putt. So again a double bogey. So I've had two double bogeys on my front nine. Both on par threes. And I can't remember the last time I had a proper double bogey in a competition. It's something that I've been good at keeping off the card. And it really just annoyed the hell out of me. So again, it was a slow front nine. I'm actually starting to get better at that. My front nines, I've been managing to start a little bit quicker. But this was just, yeah, it was just rubbish. And it continued going into the back nine where I was just really loose with my shots. Just missed the birdie put on the ninth. It was actually a decent uh, third shot in there. Just It was a great put as well. Not great put. It went exactly where I wanted it to. Just misread it. Um, the 10th had a good up and down for a par. The 11th, a massive slice. Missed the fairway. Went on to another fairway. But managed to get a really good approach shot in. Probably the best shot of the day, to be honest. And hold a good put for a birdie. Um, then I had an okay par. I missed the green with a wedge. And managed to get a good up and down. Par the next, which was a par three. Had a put for a birdie. It was a decent shot in there. Um, not a bad pull, just misread it again slightly. Um, they made a bogey on the next. Again, just a bad second shot into the hole. A push slice, if anything. And I was blocked out by a tree and basically took another four to get it down into the hole. Um, par the next, which was an incredibly disappointing par. Almost drove it up to onto the green. Hit a terrible wedge shot in here. Terrible chip. Actually hold a good putt. And then I hit a big slice on the next. And ended that hole with a seven after losing a ball. So I've had a double, a double and a triple. Now I can't remember the last round where I actually had a double bogey. And yeah, I've had two doubles and a triple in this round. And it was all down to really three awful tee shots. And that's the thing. Those three holes have added up to being seven over par. That's pretty much all my shots gone in three holes. And it was just so disappointing. One of the most disappointing things about today was, yes, I struggled the ball poorly, but I thought incredibly poorly today. My mental game was just not there. Now, there's a couple of things which have been happening this week. Um, <laughs> myself and Carly were actually currently trying to move house, um, which is enough stress in itself. So getting this house ready, I won't show you this office at the moment. It's just absolutely chaos. But the rest of the house have been doing it up. We've been tidying it up. I've not been sleeping well at all. Um, again, last night was another bad night's sleep. And today I just felt more nervous over the ball than I have been in previous comps. I felt a little bit more tense. Andy, who came around to caddy for me today, did a fantastic job. He's a little ray of sunshine. There's absolutely no doubt about it. And he really did drag me along on some of the holes. He really did improve my mood. And that's one thing today. I was quite nervous but I wasn't overly upset and I wasn't overly happy. I just felt a little bit, I don't know, just a bit numb, if, if that's the right word. And I don't think that's good. I should be getting out of there and being excited. But today I just wasn't. I just wasn't feeling it in any way. I was happy about my putting. I was happy how that went. And that is something, obviously, which I've been practicing along with the scramble test. I was trying out my new wedges today. So my new tailor-made mill grind. I was happy with those. Experimented with the new Mizuno lob wedge as well, which I was happy-ish with. Although I might need to do a little bit more testing with that. So there was a few new things going on today. Um, but overall game is just not there. But mental game today was just not there. And that is something that I've been working on. It's something that I feel like I've been improving upon. So I've played in five competitions since March. Which in itself isn't great. You know I should be playing in more competitions than that. But... Yeah, I can only play what's on and I can only play what hasn't been cancelled because a few comps that I wanted to go in this year have been cancelled because of the weather. And I've been scoring pretty consistently. So 71, 70, 74, 71. But then today was the 79. And in all the other competitions I've played in, there's always been something which I could take away. There's always something which I can feel I can be positive about. So certainly last time at Blackburn started fast. Played off the wrong hole, you know, lost two shots on that and then lost another shot on the hole that I replayed. Won't go back into that again, but without that hole, without that mistake, I would have been three, four under. And I really felt like I was, you know, moving in the right direction. And then today just wasn't really any positives I can take apart from the fact that I put it well. So what I need to do is I really need to get my head in order as far as actually getting some sleep, actually... Just chilling out a little bit more. I, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the content over the last few weeks. But I'm sure you've noticed that the amount of videos that we're putting out, the amount of travelling that we're doing, the amount of work that we're putting in, 
you know, it, it's increasing all the time and trying to get that balance, trying to strike that balance is something which I need to get better at between practice, between playing, between just resting and, and just actually trying to chill out because over the last two weeks, you know, I did, we did have one big night out in London in between to sell about 100,000 and 200,000 for Rick, but really I've, I've, I've not had that much sleep at all and I've been doing a lot of editing, a lot of work. And this is where the challenge really is, especially for myself and Rick, between doing this, doing YouTube, doing social media, coaching, you know, which we're still doing a couple of days a week, and then trying to play and practice. It's such a hard balance to get. And certainly it's something that I need to do better over the next few weeks. I'm qualifying to the end of the month. Um, and certainly today I just felt more negative about that that I have done for pretty much the entire year. And I'm never normally like that. You know, I'm a pretty positive person, but today the the negative feelings certainly did come to the surface. And even during the round, I, I was feeling quite negative about things. So I need to try and readdress that. So guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully that wasn't too uh, morose, but certainly I feel a bit rubbish today. I really do feel a little bit rubbish. I need to pick myself up over the next few weeks and go at it again and just enjoy myself a little bit more when I'm out of the course. Today was not the most enjoyable round I've had and you should enjoy your golf. Even if you do play crap, you should enjoy your golf. There's no doubt about it. So I need to revisit that. I need to get my head clear about that and then go again. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.